What is up, rockers? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms content. I'm Shinchi42, your sponsored content creator here in Rise of Kingdoms. Today, we are going to be doing some battle testing, and we have more battle testing coming up soon. Aren't you excited? Make sure you subscribe and turn that notification on so you won't miss a thing in Rise of Kingdoms. <laughs> All right, here's our first talent tree that we're gonna be using for this battle testing. All right, so what we have here is that we have an Artemisia secondary to a Tomiris. So what we're gonna be testing in here is a Tomiris primary. Is she good? I've been curious about this, using Tomiris as a primary commander. Now we remove the equipments. Um, we have the civilization though. So he is gonna be an Ottoman. I'm going to be a British civilization. I cannot really change because I am already training troops. Um, the city theme has been removed as well, but you might have seen in a little frame there that it wasn't removed But it was a bug we had to refresh the game and you can see that it was actually removed at the next battle now um, We have Guan Yu Alexander doing a wonderful job in here Artemisia secondary to Tomiris Very interesting very close matchup in here, but it seems like Guan Yu is winning um, the talent tree that we're using for Guan Yu is more of an open field, uh, you know, talent tree. It's going to have some moving speed because in reality, you're going to have that moving speed fighting with other players. If you're, you're not going to specialize your talent tree just to focus on a one-on-one -on -one type of battle. But in the next series of this um, battle testing that we have, we are going to be testing a different talent tree of Guan Yu and Alexander. As you can see, we have won by a very close margin. One thing that we need to understand with Artemisia is that she has a talent or skill uh, for Garrison that is not being taken effect into open field battle. So you have to keep that in mind. All right. Um, as we can see, we're looking at the reports in here. All right, so next battle is that we, I believe this is going to be a Ramsey, a Ramsey's secondary to uh, Tomiris. So we're trying to see if this is going to do well. Um, in the next series of this battle testing, you are going to see a Ramsey's Tomiris as well. Maybe I will clip this part and compare it once we look into that situation. All right, so this time it seems like Ramses is doing a wonderful job as a secondary commander in here to our, uh, to Tomiris. Very neck and neck game as well. And you have to keep in mind that you know uh, Paul Cakes does have a advantage over troops wise and as well as civilization. Those two things we need to consider in here. Um, you know, one thing that we need to look into is that how close is the match going? If it's like super close, it you know, it's really got to be the civilization, right? But if there's a big margin, then it's just going to be like, you know, really dominating part on whoever is the clear winner is. But with this one, it seems like it has a decent margin in here. Remember, we are also using 50,000 troops of T4 as well. Just kind of use your best judgment in here. Um, relatively very close. We can just tell in here that the Artemisia didn't really do that well. Now, keep in mind is that Ramses also has healing. Having to heal those troops to fight back again is insane. Now, we're switching our talent tree in here for Tomiris. All right, so here we go. We got a new talent tree. Let's see if this talent tree is going to work. If you pause on that talent tree, what you can see actually there is that we are focused now on attack tree. So we're still using the same thing. Guan Yu Alexander. Um, this is Tomiris and I believe Artemisia. All right, we're seeing the poison stack in there from Tomiris. This is a primary commander. Very interesting. Oh, I just burped a little bit there. Whew. Oh, man. All right, I think we're seeing about 14 stacks in here. Pretty decent, in my opinion. Remember that Artemisia does have that silencing effect as well. As you can see, the skill was being held for a certain time there. 
but it's just no match. The Artemisia playing it on the open field battle is not the ideal uh, commander to use. As you can see, this is the second time using Artemisia's in the open field battle as a secondary to, to Myris is not ideal. One of the reasons in here is that the skill, right? There's a skill that Artemisia has that is not being played in this situation. Artemisia is a garrison commander, wonderful garrison commander. She does decent, in my opinion, in the open field battle still. All right. Now, keep in mind, we are using Tomiris. We're testing Tomiris in this video. Now, in the future, we can do a testing of Artemisia as a primary commander with a defensive tree. So that's going to be a different segment. So make sure if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, make sure you subscribe now. As you can see, we have that skill that is not taking effect. Um, well, parts of that skill that is not taking effect. So make sure that you subscribe now to see more battle testing and smash that thumbs up if you enjoy battle testing videos like this. Now we will have a new setup in here. It is now going to be um, Tomiris and I believe it is going to be Ramses. So I have my Guan Yu Alexander again. We're now um, starting a battle in here. Let's see, how is this going to perform? Earlier, um, Tomiris and Ramses did a wonderful job defeating Guan Yu. Let's see if this is going to work out well again. The good thing about Ramses is that he has this tank ability. He has this ability to absorb these damages that, um, what is it called, uh, Guan Yu and Alexander is inflicting. As you can see, tanking that wonderful and a high damage as well. It seems like... <laughs> Guan Yu and Alexander is not doing that well. All right. Wow. A very close game as well. The stack of the poison is going against 10, 11, 12. 12 stack poison. Not bad, honestly, as having Tomirius as a primary commander. We've always seen like using Edward. Actually, it's very interesting. We didn't test out Edward in here. <laughs> Maybe in the next one, we will be testing Edward. So if you have any requests in here that we want to see, we're going to try to do them as long as we have the commanders for it. Uh, Ramsey's secondary. This is an annihilation on Guan Yu and Alexander the Great. Wow. All right. Let's take a look in the battle report in here. 7,000 severely wounded. And a little bit more heal, I guess, from the previous one. It has 2,270 heals. So that's one thing that Ramses can bring in the battlefield is that healing and um, bringing those troops back to life, fighting. All right, so this time we will now have YSG. A lot of players would love to see this. Can YSG actually dominate in here? A lot of players know that YSG is like one of the best legendary commanders, right? Can he actually defeat Guan Yu and Alexander in this battle. The problem with YSG is that he does have the AoE capability, great in the open field battle, can damage the surrounding, great for crowd control. The thing that lacks against uh, or with YSG is that the ability to tank. He doesn't have any buff to make the troops survive in the battlefield, even though he has an extensive damage. He cannot survive. As you can see in here, out of all the combinations that we have tested, this is the worst, having YSG with Tomiris. It's not a good thing. There is no ability to tank. So, what we have seen is that Ramses did a great job. And the next video, we're gonna use Ramses as a primary and testing out with different combinations. All right, so what we got here next is going to be El Cid. So a lot of players said El Cid sucks. Let's see if El Cid can do better than the YSG. Remember, YSG is more of a crowd control commander, but this is a one-on-one -on -one testing. I'm curious if El Cid is gonna be a lot worse than YSG. What do you actually think? Is it gonna be as bad as YSG? Hmm. Just by looking at it, YSG seems like doing a great job in here. Wow. Tomara is up to 13 stacks. Very interesting as a primary commander. Wow. 
And there we go. Casting is of skill. It looks like... It looks like El Cid is losing. Yes, he is. But not as... Not as quickly as when YSG was a secondary. I'd say this is a little bit closer... A closer battle than the... Than the previous one that we just saw. Seems like Elsa's doing a wonderful job, you know, with that first skill that he got. Very interesting. Okay, so what we have concluded here is that um, Guan Yu still won. So Elsa is probably not the most optimal pairing, but it seems like it did a lot better than having YSG as a secondary. With that being said, we will have more testings coming up in here. And we're going to be having some testing also with Banana. So soon enough, we will have more and more testing coming up pretty soon. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to this channel so that you won't miss out a thing. If you have any suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. Once I go through them, if it's feasible for us to do, we are going to be trying to do those testings for you to check out. Anyway, bros, I'll see you again next time. Stay safe and be awesome and keep rocking on.